So here are a few travel tips which might be useful and saves a lot of money on your next travel trip to Thailand. So first things first, as soon as I reached the Bangkok airport, the first thing was the visas. And the visa is damn simple. All you have to do is just go stand in the queue and get your visa stamped. That's it. It's damn easy. You don't have to pay anything and it's, I think it was valid for, for a month. So since we are Indians and visa is free until 14th of November, so the process is damn easy and very chill. You don't have to fill any form, nothing. The next thing that you need to worry about is the SIM card. There are multiple options, there are a lot of scams happening, but I would suggest and what I did is that I got it from the airport itself. So go to the lower basement or I think as soon as you complete the visa, you get the SIM card shops or st stalls kept inside the airport itself. So you can, all you have to do is just go pay and choose the best plan you want and just get the SIM card. It's damn easy. You don't have to just, you don't have to submit any proof. They'll just take a Xerox or a picture of your passport. That's it. So. I would suggest rather than getting outside, it's very cheap and very reasonable inside the airport. Since my next plan was going to Pattaya and the cheapest and the easiest way is going through bus, the government buses, it's damn cheap and I know we all have a different perspective about it but I, I was really shocked like it's damn cheap and damn cool and it's, it's an AC bus, it has washroom, it literally has everything, it's very spacious and the best thing is that it just costs around 165 or 168 baht so reaching to a different place from bangkok in so cheap price with a very luxurious ac bus so it's really very very reasonable i felt and just make sure that you go one and a half hours prior and the bus start around 6 a.m in the morning so just try reaching one and a half hours prior just get your ticket on the spot and the best thing is that you don't have to worry about you know one and a half hours there's a food court right next to the next to that stall and on the lower ground basement the food court is like a food street inside the airport which is awesome i would say like i've never thought or never experienced something like this and it's really very reasonable all you have to do is just go get your card and you can choose what kind of food you want from multiple stalls and there's also very nice fresh juice shop and a lot of other things like bangkok airport never disappoints i was like awesome i felt this is really cool If you're thinking of traveling to other places like within the city and if you're not able to go on the local buses then the best thing is like get download the app called Grab which is also damn cool and damn cheap. When you compare to Uber, Ola and all these, I think Grab is very cheap and uh, I literally got fortune for my first ride and I had 50% off so imagine 100 baht I traveled from one place to another in just in, in fortune so wow I think Grab is really cool so first thing first like just get your visa, sim card, bus, foot coat and Grab I think these are the basic things that all we need so overall i hope these tips are really very useful for all of you because it saved a lot of money for me and yes there were times where i couldn't get grab and it was just two kilometers i'm someone who loves walking so i used to just walk and eat a lot of street food because thailand is awesome for street food so if you are someone who loves to enjoy and explore then just try walking one way and just come back like grab or take a local transport and if you think you have a lot of time and you don't know what to do just come to the airport the swarnabhumi airport it's awesome it literally has everything the food court and everything you can just come chill and just go back as well so it's cool <laughs> <laughs>